Welcome back. Postseason basketball is in full swing. Boys District Tournament's taking over tonight and some of the most exciting games we've seen all season. We start in District 9. Top-seeded Flasher trails New Salem Almont by three with two and a half minutes to go. Caleb Phelan with ice in his veins to make it a six-point game. Holstein's eyeing an upset, but Jace Freeze says not so fast. Off the rebound, steps back, knocks it down from the corner for a three-point game, and then arguably the play of the night. Freeze with a drying, driving lay-in. Just seconds later, he gets the steal and a quick bucket. Flasher survives to advance to the championship. So who will face the Bulldog? Shiloh Christian taking on Standing Rock to find out. Luke Wanzik gets, gets things going for the Skyhawks, drops in the three from the top for the early lead, but the Warriors won't back down. The give and go down low from the postman to John Luger. He gets the running floater to go for two points. But the Skyhawks are just too good tonight. Looking for a bucket before the half, and Kyler Klein delivers from the wing a three to extend the lead, and Shiloh advances to take on Flasher in the championship Monday. Up in District 10, the semifinals for them, starting with top seed at Garrison and the host Washburn start of the second. Cardinals trailing by just three, but gets a little closer. Alex Redderath with the spin move in the bucket. But Garrison would break this one open, including this drive between four defenders from Avery, Avery Kurzman. Impressive layup there. And a steal right before the half. Jackson Wrench, three-pointer to beat the buzzer, banks it home. Garrison moves on to the championship, 57 to 44. To the nightcap, Wilton Wing and Central McLean matching up. First quarter, Miners with a good start. Tucker Sheely with the first five points for Wilton, including this three-pointer. Miners with the early lead, but threes are contagious. Jerry Hinky with a pair to start the night. Gotta love that. And the young fan dropping the Dr. Seuss knowledge on the Cougar sharpshooter. Back comes Wilton off a missed three. Trey Koski, rebound, put back. The state tournament bound girls team loving that basket, but Central McLean pulls out the win. They'll play Garrison Monday. Up to District 12 and Minot semifinal match between our Redeemers and Surrey. Second quarter, our Redeemers Colton Francis picks the pocket, takes it all the way coast to coast for the lay in and two points. Now we jump ahead to the third quarter. Mustangs, Cole Horner sets up the offense, drives baseline, hits the floater for two of his own. But the Knights are rolling in this one. Levi Weekly finds Zach Hendrickson on the left wing, fires the deep three, nothing but net. Our Redeemers advances 54 to 36. Now Bishop Ryan taking on MLS to see who will play the Knights. Fourth quarter action back and forth when here Lions Logan Merck drives, kicks to Brady Feller, pulls the three and buries it. He finishes with 15 points on the night. Now MLS running the break, Jacob Unlin driving, dishes to Lucas Unlin, lays it in. Mavericks down just two points now. A little later, Lions Connor Thompson drives, passes to Jackson Feller, drops the defender and drops in three of his 22 on the night. Bishop Ryan gets the three-point win to advance to the championship. In District 6, Linton h &B will face Kidder County in the championship. White Shield advances to the District 15 title game. Rugby advances in District 11. They'll face Drake Anamoose, who gets the upset over Velva. And Lewis and Clark advances in District 15. Postseason basketball.